How you doing, YouTubians? Before I get the video started, please give me a like, a subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell, and please drop a comment down below. Okay, let me tell you about the situation that's going on today. First off, today is day six of my fast. Um, as you see, that I'm still going strong. Um, sorry, I just woke up. Um, I've been sleeping a lot lately and everything, but um, I was up early because I was waiting on an important call. You know, um, my editor is supposed to have called me. See, during this whole pandemic, I've been writing a lot of books, you know, and she was supposed to call me so we can go over my book together. Well, that phone call never happened or anything. Um, I'm going to call her when I, after this video, actually, to see exactly what happened and make sure everything is okay. But um, other than that, that was the only thing that really, that really went down. Um, yes, I am a, a, a writer. I'm a, a, a unpublished writer. I will be self-publishing my book, um, dropping them on um, Amazon as well as Kindle, uh, <clears throat> um, dropping them a little bit everywhere, you know. So if you would be interested in uh, buying one of my books and anything, please leave the comment down below. Well, writing is something that I've been wanting to do since I was 14 years old. And it's crazy how writing came about. You know, uh, my father had passed away a few years ago. And me and him had a private conversation. This is a true story. This is not me uh, telling you the story just to get, you know, um, Facebook likes and all of that different kind of stuff. This is something that actually, actually happened. And um, he was laying down in bed. And I still feel bad to this day that I had to lie to my father, you know. He asked me... Uh, will I be able to go home, you know? And I lied to him and I told him, yeah, you will be able to go home in a couple of days, you know, uh, you just need to get better. Uh, I knew that he was not going to get better, at least that's what the doctors told me, but I was being hopeful. Well, me and him had a nice little talk and he sat there and told me that uh, when I was a kid, him and my mother had a conversation about my future. And they would often talk about it and pretty much told me that at the end of the day, for me to follow my dreams, I need to do exactly what I was put on this planet to do. So they told me that do not live like him. He said, um, I lived my life in fear and I see that you are not like that. You're trying to be that, but you're not like that. He said, I, I lived my life from check to check, and I definitely don't want that for you. I see that you have it in you to take risks, but you don't for some whatever reason. So I want you to do exactly that. He said that told me that I know that you've been wanting to be a writer and you were talked out of it. Well, I'm talking you back into it. Well, after I got that message from him, um, I came straight home and I prayed over it and I thought about it. And I thought that was the best message that I've ever received, you know? Well, he died maybe a few days later and all at one time the storyline just popped into my head for multiple books over and over again you know back to back and I started writing titles down what the books was mean and, and uh, yeah so that's what sparked the whole writing energy in me 
So, uh, my first book was supposed to come out earlier this year, but the whole pandemic has slowed everything down. All the proofreaders were um, not coming into work, at least the ones that I've contacted. So I thought I'd wait a little bit later and after the city and everything opened back up, that's when one of the proofreaders reached out to me and told me that I could send my book in and they'd read it and help me out and, you know, get me uh, going. So I sent it in and right now it's just a waiting game. And today I was waiting on the phone call and the call never happened. So I'm going to give that person a call later on today. Um, see if we can set up another set up for another date and we can continue with that. Um, other than that, everything is going pretty good. As you see, I still have my strength. I'm still walking around. Um, as you see, I'm well rested and everything is going great. So please explain to me, um, I actually have a question as well. Um, are you following your dreams? Are you doing exactly what you were meant to do here on this planet? Um, are you a business owner? Um, do you own a small business, big business? Are you an investor or are you an employee? Um, I'm not putting any one of those positions down because all of them are needed in this world in order to function. Um, let's see here. And if you're not living your dream, what are your dreams? 